Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a mini lecture on rear leg lameness in the canine, essentially a disease condition that can be called sometimes hip dysplasia, spondylitis, spondylosis, spondylitis and spondylosis deformans, chronic spine disease, essentially chronic rear leg weight lameness, a number of different things cause the dogs to go down in the rears. Down in the rears meaning, of course, that the dog doesn't have strength in the rear legs. This is an old dog disease, essentially, and very commonly it is, in fact, the reason that somebody will bring the dog into the veterinary practice for its last trip to the veterinary practice. The animal that does not respond to anti-inflammatory therapy to get strength back to its rear legs very commonly is not operated on because they're too late, too old essentially for this type of, of therapy and therefore they're given up on and put down unfortunately. And we found that these animals have a whole series of neurological interferences that we can find in their lower back that actually causes the condition. So what we're telling you is that the disease conditions, chronic hip dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, um, uh, spondylitis deformans, spondylosis, spondylosis deformans, all of these conditions are actually syndromes of a primary disease condition which is a vertebral subluxation complex. Remember, vertebral subluxation complex is in fact a condition that occurs neurologically due to injury, accumulated injury over a long period of time in the spinal cord, essentially set, shutting down each successive areas of the spinal cord. If an area of the spinal cord incurs an injury, the body ends up with, with this phenomenon of vertebral subluxation complex and if that's not res respondedly or re if not repaired with this technique or other techniques then what occurs is that area basically builds up hydrogen ion, serotonin, bradykine, and poly, uh, prost uh, prostaglandins, P substance essentially, and that causes pain in the tissue. The body uh, basically avoids, avoids that area, and the, bother, the body says, hey, if you're not going to fix this joint, I'm going to shut it down, and I'll shut it down with actually bony connection. First cartilage, then connective tissue, then bone, and then we have a fusion of a joint, and we end up with what's called spondylosis or spondylosis deformance. I'm going to zoom in a little closer and give you a shot of what that actually looks like on an x-ray, which is what veterinarians will see when they diagnose a dog that's quote-unquote down in the rears. And then we'll talk about how we go about fixing that and routinely fix that every day. So I'm going to uh, zero in on this right now. This is the second set that we're going to do. As you can see in this x-ray that we brought off the internet, essentially, we have a spinal cord and we're looking at the lateral aspects of the dog from the spinal cord. And you see these areas of spondylosis and spondylitis all up and down the ventral aspect of the spinal cord. Here's a, not a good joint, but this joint is starting to fuse. This one is fused. This one is completely fused, as you can see. This one is completely fused. This one is in the process of fusing. This is spondylitis deformis. This is caused by a neurological interference that's occurring here in the spinal cord essentially, and causing the body to uh, direct healing and shutting down the joint with a bony connection like this to try to stabilize an unstable joint. This is the body's response to this, and this incurs actually subluxation that begets other subluxation. So what happens is one area has a problem, and then it fuses itself like this. The other area basically takes all the energy from that spine, and basically, and it breaks down like this one does, and then it fuses, and then the one next to it base breaks down and it fuses. It goes like boing, 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 like that, up and down the spinal cord until it accumulates enough degeneration of the spinal cord and lack of nerve function that the animal doesn't have any more strength, and he goes down in the rears. Here's another x-ray of a spondylitis situation and you can see here extensive amounts of osteoarthritic changes that are occurring in the joints look at how this joint is completely collapsed and these other joints essentially are undergoing degeneration and fusion there's actually bony fusion that's occurring right in this area this is not occurring in the animal because the bones don't have anything else to do they're responding to vertebral subluxation complex this occurs in about seven or eight years in the canine of chronic subluxation complex about 60 to 70 years in the human being and so this in fact is a condition that we see radiographically my profession doesn't treat this except for medicine and cross your fingers what actually happens though is that we're able to treat this successfully with the VOM technology or at least rehabilitate as much neurological tissue as we possibly can so when we get a dog that's down in the rears we have to decide whether or not the problem is in fact a hip a back problem or something else involving weakness and other aspects. More often than not, it's this phenomenon. It's the phenomenon of 
spinal degeneration and lack of consecutive strength down the spinal cord due to the phenomenon of vertebral subluxation complex. In the vomtech.com website, the O-M-T-E-C-H.com website, we show you how we go about taking care of these animals on a regular basis. I must, I must have gotten thousands of these animals that came to me because nothing could be done and medication wouldn't solve the problem. We would go through and do a basic VOM adjustment and these animals would get strength almost back immediately. Now we're not able to reverse the bony change. We're not able to reverse this bony change, but what, what we can do if we have reactive reading patterns, and you'll see that on the videos that are on the vomtech.com website, if there is in fact a reflexive response there, there's an active subluxation phenomenon occurring at that location and we can reverse that and rehabilitate that. In doing so, we give this animal back most of its uh, function at that particular joint and also most of its neurological strength. So we can get a dog that's weakened down in the rears, can't control bowel and bladder and is atrophying the rear legs essentially and bring them back to some extent maybe back to 60% or 70% of their total functionality. Uh, sometimes it looks like we make them completely normal when we treat this condition. It's imperative to know that the body response, bony response, spondylitis, spondylosis, deformans essentially, is actually a syndrome associated with the body's response to the underlying cause, which is vertebral subluxation complex, which is a neurological interference that we find and we remove and treat with this condition. It's incredibly easy, it's very safe, and virtually its success rate is very, very high relative to putting the animal down for crying out loud. So our approach is to use that. We'd also mention we're going to talk about degenerative myelopathy because if this thing occurs further and further up and down the spinal cord, we get less and less neurological activity that is occurring in the nerve. And when that happens, the actual nerve tissue breaks down and it breaks down and we end up with a myelopathy. And it looks like it degenerates the disc and also degenerates as it goes further down the spinal cord. So it looks like it's a progressive degenerative myelopathy, which is another disease condition that's confused with a down in the rears dog. We also treat that with a combination of the VOM technology and also laser, which has been incredibly effective for treating degenerative myelopathy. That'll be another video that uh, all by itself that will deliver pretty soon. Thank you for looking at this. I'd have you go to the bombtech.com website and look at a list of other videos that we have necessarily that are on YouTube, plus also a set of videos that will show you exactly how to do this, why it works, how it works, and how to apply it in your practice. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at 888-935-4866. I'm Dr. William Mimnon. Thank you for your patience and have a great day.